Hey Chucks and welcome back to The Witcher 3. We just had our Imperial audience and now we should find Ciri. But first we have to find, uh, to follow the Chamberlain to our quarters, I guess. What? But hey, let's see what's going on here. I'm Herevart, the second prince of Elanda. Not only am I made to wait here like I'm a stroll later. Oof. They get a work. Let's see if he wants to talk to us. Nope. Uh, Nobody wants to talk to us. Oh well. Let's move it, Chamberlain. I have time all day. Shiny. Then Ted attack hey and then Kalant Ness of Voloisa. Ep to some? Mind if I interrupt? Why not join in instead? We're discussing neutrality. How difficult it is to preserve. Know a thing or two about that. Care to explain? Never changes. I try to stay out of things, stand aside. Then comes an urgent summons. And an offer I can't refuse. Enough about that. Mind if we change the subject? So, talk to the Emperor. Hmm. Why did he summon you? So not even you know. No. But I wager it's an ordinary witch's contract. Mm-hmm. Some weirbubs. Hmm. Huh. See ya. Soon, mind you. Interesting that he didn't even tell her. Yeah, which seems like, you know, someone competent. He seems like he's pretty high up in the, the military ranks. So, let's see where our chambers are. If we ever shall arrive in them. Move it, Chamberlain. Wish to enlist, Nordling. Are there herbs here? Let's see. This just normal ones. I, I thought, like, you know, there might be some rather hard to find. Ones. That doesn't look like it. Yeah, yeah, following you. Once the gentleman is done, he should see me to retrieve his possessions. <clears throat> All right, so let's go in here. Quill shot, Jennifer. Yes. Here. Then transcribe. The true authority in Novigrad is not the city council or the merchants' guild, but the Church of the Eternal Fire and the criminal underworld. At times, it is Enough difficult to, to tell the one look from at the other. Him. Boot, potentially. They both a similar nice. And cynicism that Please um, wait, your excellency. Falling behind. You know what? I'll write the report myself. You'll need only prepare a clean nice. draft. Nice. Got some free vials. An apple. Yeah. Never can even ask. Apples. An apple a day keeps the doctor away, so the more apples we find, the longer we don't need to see a doctor. It's probably very. Beneficial in these times. Two books. That I might read later. directly out of Nordling tales. More books. A sword for witches. Or witchers. Yeah, I think we mostly came with loot books here. Um, I don't know if, if we actually level up or something, like with the game Geralt, points to that. that tunic. You look positively smashing. Ugh, dying to take <laughs> it off. I'd consider that a proposition under different circumstances. One I might even take you up on. But we've matters to attend to. Now do you understand why I'm at Amir's court? Mm-hmm. And seems we're in the same boat now. Siri, she's really back? No chance he's mistaken. Look, that's more or less what she looks like now. Or so our agents claim. 
Our little witch has grown into a young lady. Huh. So they're our agents now? My, my. You've clearly settled in quick. Geralt, don't twist my words. I know who Emir is. He started this war and its bloodshed. He had my friends killed. But I haven't any other choice. So please, let's not belabor the pros and cons and instead focus on finding Ciri. All right? Right. Emir said the wild hunts after her. I'd find that hard to believe before what happened yesterday. How did they track us down? Because of me. You see, I've spent months searching for Ciri, using locating spells, haruspicy, geomancy, anything, really. I knew the Wild Hunt might sense it, perhaps even find me, but I thought I'd trick them. Well, guess you were wrong. Hmm. I've sensed them on my trail, hunting me, for some time. If not for you and Amir's soldiers, they'd have gotten what they were after. I can't risk another encounter like that. It's time to put away the magic, turn to more traditional methods. To the best tracker I know. You must find her, Geralt. Before the Wild Hunt does. So you just want to keep sitting within the walls here and let me do the work? Alright, see how it is. Um... The Wild Hunt? What could it want from Ciri? I've no clue, Geralt. Might have written them to ask, but I don't have their address. I know as much as you do. It must be about her blood. Her gift. As for what the hunt wishes to do with that gift, I'd... I'd prefer not to think about it, really. So where has Ciri been seen, exactly? In two places. Velen and Novigrad. The trail in Velen is most promising. You should make that your first stop. Ask for a merchant named Hendrik at the inn at the crossroads. One of the Emperor's agents. He should get in touch with you. That's it? No passwords? Secret handshakes? None. Sorry to spoil your fun. <laughs> your boyhood fantasies about the crafts of the trade. All we have in Novigrad are unconformed reports, rumors. But there you will have the help of our mutual acquaintance. Tris Merigold. Apparently she's got a cozy flat on the main square. Sure she'll be delighted to see me. What about you? What will you do? I shall sail for Skelliger. There was a magic explosion there recently, blew half a forest down. I believe this had something to do with Ciri. I'll be in care trolled. Join me there once you've learned something. One thing before we go. Why didn't you contact me? Didn't need me? Didn't even want to see me? I didn't want to spoil things. I'd heard you and Triss made a great couple. Yen, I'd lost my memory. Really? That's your excuse? Let's drop it, all right? It's not what you think, or it helped me understand how much I love you. I don't wish to hear it. Any of it. Interesting. So I didn't play the first two Witcher. Yes, this means we need to split up again. Not my preference, but I understand. Clock's ticking. It is indeed. So why don't I teleport you to Velen, get you there at once? Not gonna happen. I'll go on horseback, as soon as I can get changed. Have it your way? Oh, and you really look quite dashing in Black Velvet. Think so? Maybe I can have some of my armor lined with it. <laughs> Good luck, Yen. Same to you. And if you wish to learn what's happened in the world while you and Vesemir roam the wilderness, talk to Ambassador Vartra. That's him over there. And Geralt, I know it's wartime, but try not to be a hero, all right? Just check those leads and come back to me in one piece. That's going to be hard. Kinda, you know, heroic character. And what I was saying before, um, I did not play the first two Witchers, so maybe there's something that you know happened in the first two Witchers that she was just 
not talking about, I do not know. But yeah, as soon as we find our dear Yennefer, um, she disappears. Oh well. Letter to Yennefer. Hmm. Now that's the drawing of a uh, Siri. Scars healed nicely. A <laughs> rusty threat knife. <laughs> Pretty sure it's gonna be worth a lot. Not. Yeah, there are a lot of books that um, we might go through later, might not. I might make a, a separate video uh, just for the lore. Because if they're actually books and have a lot of stuff to read in them... Um, I understand that not everybody wants to actually you know, read all the lore, they're just interested. Or mostly interested in the quests. Alright, there's one more bookshelf left to loot. But yeah, let's uh, keep going. She was talking about uh, the Emperor something. A shame oh, Ambassador that can tell us what was going on in the world. Ambassador Varatra, Yennefer suggested I ask you about current events, the war and so on. Of course. The Emperor's servants should keep no secrets from each other. If you will, let us approach the map. How's the war going? I mean, apart from the fact that Nilfgaard's triumph is imminent. I assume this to be a private conversation. We've no witnesses, so let's dispense with the propaganda, even that shrouded in irony. Our offensive was going splendidly until winter came. Edurn was in such disarray that we encountered no resistance. We had reached the Pontar before the first snows. Only a weakened Kedwin remained and Radovid's Redania, which had ignored the rest of the North's pleas for help. We thought they'd sue for peace, perhaps even submit to vassalization. We waited for spring, certain of victory. Radovid? Submit? Yes, a vain hope, I agree. Radovid sent no peace envoys, nor did he advance on our positions. Instead, he trudged over the snow-bound Kestrel Mountains and attacked Kedwin his ally. This attack took the Kedweni by surprise. They were still mourning the loss of their king. Rudderless and dejected, they laid down their arms after a few lost skirmishes and joined Radovid. And so by spring, instead of two weak enemies, we had only one powerful one. Wow, well, yeah, I mean, that sounds pretty impressive. I mean, very backstabby and, and being a total ass, but yeah. That admiration I hear in your voice? Radovid is our foe, but I cannot deny he is clever. He played us for fools, particularly dense ones at that. Returning to the war, this spring there was a massive battle in the marshes of Velen. Massive, yet indecisive. Both sides suffered enormous losses, unprecedented even. Radovid has retreated across the Pontar. He's safe for now, until reinforcements arrive from the south. Then Emperor Emir Var Emrys will deal with him once and for all. Couldn't you just go home? Save everyone a lot of marching, not to mention a few human lives. I'm afraid the stakes are too high to fold now. We can only go all in. Hmm. What's new in Skellige? Nothing. The islanders pride themselves on that, don't they? Doing everything according to tradition, as their forefathers did. And like their forefathers, they quarrel with each other. Pillage. Occasionally attack our transports. This is cumbersome, but nothing more. Skellige has always been a footnote to history, and so it shall remain. Sound awfully confident. What if King Bran manages to unite the Jarls? Lead all the clans against your fleet? King Bran is a feeble old man. From what I know, he barely remembers the names of his own vassals. Uniting all might prove difficult. Well, 
let's hope for him that they don't actually figure it out. I mean, considering something was going on over there in, in, in Skellige, maybe someone else is trying to unite them. Or just maybe even completely get rid of the king that's there right now. Um, what's the situation in Velen? Hmm. How do things look in Velen? As bad as ever, perhaps worse. This land never flowed with milk and honey, and now it flows with blood. Armies have swept through it several times, trampling fields, looting granaries, burning villages. Famine grips the populace. Mm -hmm. So how's ruling that earthly paradise going for you? Not well, to be honest. Our forces are spread thin as it is, and Velen is chiefly swampy forests that are difficult to control. We've had several patrols never return to their camps. Thus, we've temporarily delegated authority in this region to a certain Nordling, a former low-ranking officer in the Temerian army, one Philip Strenger, better known by his nom de guerre, the Bloody Baron. I advise you well, avoid him. Hmm. So, don't annoy the people in power in Velen. Any news from Novigrad? Is the free city still free? Yes, although everyone knows this won't last. Radovid is in Oxenford, and the Emperor is here in Vizima, at Novigrad's doorstep, both. And both require coin and ships, and Novigrad can provide these. Which is why the mood in the city is rather, well, on edge. Meaning? How do men deal with fear? They seek reassurance and scapegoats. The Church of the Eternal Fire understands this perfectly, and so it promises to improve the lives of its flock by pointing out the guilty. Who started the war? Who profits from it? Why, it's obvious. Mages, elves, dwarves, in a word, any and all deviants. I've been stationed in Novigrad for 13 years. First as a consul, then as ambassador. I've seen a great deal. Cruelty, cynicism, greed. But what is happening there now concerns me greatly. Interesting, so if, if the city's not taken by one of, you know, the, the two armies, it might just... Well, the, the church looks like it's, it's taking over the city, but I, I don't think it's, it's that easy. It's just everybody will say, well, you're right. And things will move on happily ever after. Interesting. Um, Thanks for your help. Think nothing of it. May the great sun light your path. I hope Vesemir is fine in there, considering, you know, he, he's a witcher, and, you know, people there don't seem to be particularly fond of witchers or similar. All right, let's grab our stuff. How might I serve? And Jeff? get out of here. By returning my things. Citrus and cloves. The fragrance will keep the gentleman's robes fresh somewhat longer. Mm. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Bunches. The Emperor is not known for his patience. He wants his daughter back safe and sound, as soon as possible. Yeah, mention something of the sort. So long. All right, let's get our actual gear back on. We can't. Uh, use the hatchet yet. Um, I don't know if we actually have to uh, put a special... If you have to use a, a point for... Like to, to use the hatchet, or if we... Just get that with leveling up. Oh, we still have a Griffin trophy. Hell yeah. Let's read the letter. Yennefer in a second, but first I want to save because last time reading a letter crashed of the game. Just to make sure. And we might have just leveled up, at least the sound sounded like that. Alright, Yennefer's letter. Dear friend, forgive me for not asking about your health or how you have been these last years. Time is very short. 
Oh, we already read that one. Um, what was the other one? A letter to Yennefer. Yennefer, my dear friend, thank you for your letter. Forgive me for not answering your earlier attempt to reach me via megascope. I'm trying to limit my magic communication to the absolute minimum. One never knows who's listening. Don't you agree? I'm delighted you have found a, po a position at our gracious Emperor's court and wish you the best of luck in the search of his daughter. It is good to know that Amphir's intentions for her have become more, how shall I put it, mundane. Perhaps in all these circumstances an agreement regarding the Lodge will prove possible after all. In response to your first question, I can state beyond all doubt that Siri has not appeared anywhere south of the Yaruga. Believe me, I could recognize her magic signature in my sleep. I have not had any contact with Triss for a long time. I only know that things in Novigrad have taken an ill turn. She mentioned something earlier about fleeing to Kovir, but I am afraid that the current political climate that amounts to an impossible daydream. I hope I will soon be able to join you in Vizima. First, however, I must take care of some unfortunate yet urgent matters in Biak Balclair. With my fondest regards, Fringilla Vigo. P.S. Thank you for the news about Geralt. He always seems to land on his feet, does he? Doesn't he? Well, apparently, we do. We're still alive. Uh, we got all our stuff back. And, um, force move and you did we level it. up, or was it just uh. the sound that we completed the mission? I think it was just the sound that we completed the mission. Yeah, we're not quite there. We just need a tiny bit more... We just need a tiny bit more, um experience, 40 to be exact, to be able to, oh, there's a quest, to be able to uh, level up again. Who has the quest? The guy sitting here. I saw you at the scene. Mm -hmm. Oh, Gwent, um, let's see, let's play. Wouldn't mind a few rounds of cards. Let's see if we actually get anything, like if we can get a quest out of it, or if it's literally just for um, playing, playing the game. All right. Um, let's check as a leader. All right, actually, um... I just, um, you know, not play Gwent right now. I have to, maybe I'll take some time to actually uh, learn about the rules off-stream. And then we, we can play Gwent in a... in a more interesting matter than me just trying to figure out how this game works. Right, nobody more to talk to here. Let's just get out of the castle. All right, um, we want to go to Velen, no man's land. I think we only have, um, yeah, the Hankman's tree to travel to. But yeah, there's a bunch. There's like a lot of stuff to discover all over here. Let's go. When Geralt and Yennefer were reunited. But something even more important happened in Vizima. Geralt learned that Cirilla, his one-time ward, had returned from afar. And she was in danger. He was to find her at the Emperor's command and Yennefer's behest. Oh wow. Tree full of dead people. 
Paramantic. Alright, let's keep riding on. There seem to be enemies already to our right. Wild dogs. Yeah, let's take care of them. There you guys go. Yeah, I really like the... I really like the horse combat. It is very different from the, the actual from the actual um, like land combat shall I say and it's also cool that uh, the landscape clearly looks different um, from where we were before all right three more dogs to go where are you at guys there's one Let the horse stamina recover. Come on, Roach. And let's get back into it. Where are they? Uh, he dodged us. Not bad. Ah, oh, damn. So yeah, we have to single them out a little bit more. And yeah, sometimes the the follow the rope mechanic is a little bit annoying because it, it just like makes the horse immediately dart into uh, you know that direction and that right now made me run, run into a fence just kind of like come on you know there's a fence pathfinding come on. just don't make me um, run into it then alright two more wolves to go or no actually wild dogs I hate it when he switches his hand and, and that completely delays me. Alright. Where are the dogs? Oh, not Silver Sword. Need the other sword. Alright, they're over there. So let's go again. Yeah, one less dog. And that should be the last run towards the last dog. Where is he? He's over here. Oh, you took your sword away again? I hate that. It's like, come on, there are clearly enemies around. We did not finish everyone that was in that battle. So don't put your sword away. Nope. Another hit. Uh, another miss. Slower. Slower and with sword, please. Where you at, Doc? Alright. Alright, that takes care of all of the dogs here. Come on. Well, let's see what we got from them or what we can loot from them. Uh, it's mostly just raw meat. No, 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 no. Get out. And that's loot all the other wolves. Um, I do not know if, if raw meat can make us sick. If there's a mechanic like that. I think in real life you should not eat the meat of any carnivores. Because they have worms and, and stuff in it. So I don't know if there's a mechanic like this in The Witcher. So that we, we, shouldn't, um, we shouldn't eat those. Let's collect a few flowers, just because. Because event. Oh, there's another wolf or dog. Did we just miss that one? Yeah, it looks like it. Ah. 
Yeah, this thing's a respawn here. But, yeah, um... I don't particularly care about those wolves. Let's see where we have to go to on the world map. Um, do we have a specific location we have to go to? Yes. There is... What is this town? Oh, that's Velen? No, it's like the whole area is Velen. So first, let's go to the notice board. And after that, we can go to the village we were supposed to go. Take it easy. With that, let's end this episode. Thanks so much for joining me. See you next time.